Hello and welcome back to what will be video number 4 for the day for Ultimate Alliance 3. Really enjoying this patch as you can probably tell. Now, for this video we will look to unlock the Captain Marvel costume, that's the Miss Marvel variant. Looks pretty awesome as well. Now, it's locked behind this particular Infinity Trail you can see on screen. So level 90, this one you have to fight round about 10 bosses and at one point you actually fight Fane and Thanos at the same time. That's after you've defeated the Black Order and various other bosses. It's absolute insanity, but it's a whole lot of fun as well. I really enjoyed this one. Now, before I go in and actually show off the gameplay, what I'll do is I'll quickly show off the team and the ice weights that I put on them as well, because you're really going to have to fine tune your heroes in order to free star this. With this particular stage being all about taking down bosses, I've brought in some of the best boss killers in the game. So we start off with Black Panther. We've got double strength for the first die. So we've then got increased damage to Stagger Gauge, works really nice on him, and increased crit hit chance. Next up, we're increasing vitality, and once again, Stagger Gauge damage, and then we're increasing strength because that affects the primary attack that I'll be using on him really often to break the Stagger Gauge and increase the crit hit chance of abilities. So that's Black Panther. Then have Wolverine, another great boss killer. So on Wolverine I went for survivability as well. So increased crit hit chance by 7%, increased vitality. We then have increased vitality once more, but then we've got flat damage. I've not actually upgraded these, I've just noticed that there. Next up we increase the crit hit chance of piercing attacks and decreased damage taken from piercing. The decreased damage really is just an effect that's on an effects I already need. It's the top one I need. The second one I wasn't too borrowed about there, but I didn't have any other rainbows that had Pearson. And then finally you've got gives 2.9% hit point recovery every 10 seconds as well. Here and it adds the fire, which is useful on occasion when we get some of the, the trash dropping in. Next up it has to be my main man Hawkeye, because when I do really hard stages like these, I like to try and beat the final boss with Hawkeye and you'll need to wait and see if I'm able to do it here, but for Hawkeye, it's all about using his light attacks and using the occasional ability, so increase crit hit chance by 8%, increase the crit hit chance of projectile attacks, we then have increased the damage of light attacks, but reduced the damage of heavy, and that's still good because I don't use the heavy attack on him, we're increasing the crit hit chance further there, once again, more crit hit chance, some damage resistance, and then finally some crit hit chance, and then energy point regeneration. Final character, the awesome and incredibly powerful Colossus, I really am loving him. So increased resistance to being uninterrupted or interrupted even, while attacking by a ton, and increased vitality by 11%. We then give 3.4 hit point recovery every 10 seconds, increased damage resistance by 15.5, Increase the likelihood of being targeted so when the AI is controlling him, the bosses are more likely to go for him and he can certainly take it. We're increasing his damage resistance even further and then I've got a double rainbow for increasing vitality so that's just shy of 20% extra vitality I get there. So that's all the characters we're using so let's jump in now and I'll show off the gameplay and as mentioned this was a whole heap of fun and it was really pretty intense as well.
Here's some for me, Puff. Here we go, once again we managed to get the final hit on Hawkeye, something I do always aim to do. It was an absolute ton of fun to run through this and I hope it was fun to watch. Now you can see, I actually managed to get 3 star and I don't really care, I don't normally show off on the channel. My only flex a bit here, this was the first actual attempt I had at it and I managed to 3 star it. So I was exceptionally happy about that and as mentioned, it really was a lot of fun. Now we've got the costume unlocked, so let's actually go in and check that out. So there we go then, looks really pretty amazing. We'll do a quick spin here as well, just to show it off. Look at that, amazing. That for me is Captain Marvel. None of the, the new look we've got, it just doesn't do it for me at all. I'm an old school guy, so this, yeah, absolutely perfect, love it. Now, what we'll do, just to finish up, is we'll jump into some gameplay to show off the costume. For this gameplay then, I've also brought along Cyclops and Colossus given their new characters. We're rocking the World War Hulk costume because it looks awesome and that also came as part of the patch. So if you've enjoyed this particular video, please take the time to hit the like button, the share button. If you're new to the channel and enjoying the content, feel free to hit the subscribe button as well. And really enjoy this gameplay and thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all again soon.